even touch it, huh? Because those wouldn't be wild. That's pretty cool. And then you're going to put it right up here on the dryer. Okay, so can I give it to these guys here? Thank you. Want to do another one? Yeah. So we'll get it here. Let's do it. That, there you go. Hold it back there. Good. And then you can hang that one right back over there. Thank you. And then we're going to grab our salt. And then just one go. No movement. Good, good, good. good. Over. Never touched by a human hand. Nice and clean. <laughs> I, I love salt. Wait a minute. I spilled some. Just, I'm very superstitious. Now it's over the left shoulder. Now I'm over. Let's, and this is there. I mean, that's color? thousands of people. That's. Hello. How are you? What a beautiful woman. Look at a beautiful child. The whole thing. It's like the perfect looking person. That's it. That's, that's the compliments. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Look at Mom over there. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. You have a great mom? Good or great? That's right. She knew what to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. Wow. So nice. All right. You've done a good job. Okay. These are nice people. It's, it's great marketing. It's, it's phenomenal marketing. It's great trolling at the same time because a lot of people don't realize that one of Kamala Harris's stories that she also uses on the campaign trail a lot of times is she says stuff like, oh man, in my first job, man, I, I worked at McDonald's one day. Nobody believes that. <laughs> no, nobody believes that. There's nobody that can substantiate that story. That's number one. Number two, her entire adult life, she's worked in the public sector, meaning that even if she has student loans, which we don't know if she has student loans or not when she went to college, those student loans would have been forgiven because she's worked in the public sector. Number two, she's never, ever opened up a business or has ever worked in the private sector, so she doesn't understand finances and economics in the same way that a person like a Trump would because they understand what small businesses need. Her her greatest story is the fact that, or I ain't even going to say the fact that, but the pitch that she's made literally probably 350 different rallies and times and interviews is she loves her small business owners. Tell me if you heard this one before. I love my small business owners. My mother was a friend of a person that ha had a daycare before. And, and so small business owners love their lawns and all of this other type of stuff. And when you see her speak about finances and economics, is it's the funniest thing ever. Because those that know, know. And she's so detached from reality. And it kind of reminds me of like a Bernie Sanders. She's so detached from reality because every single paycheck that she's ever gotten has come from the public sector as an adult, right? And so it's funny because this is not only endearing him to the people. It's also great marketing. McDonald's, I'm sure, is very appreciative. Um, and they make a lot of money. And their stock probably is up as a result of it. I don't know. Uh, I'm just guessing. I'm not an investor in McDonald's stock, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it also trolls her because it basically shows that he probably worked there longer than she has, right? But let's continue to see what's happening out here. Well, we're meeting him. So you're here okay. Got it. Larry, look at this guy. I'm not going to mess with him, huh? How you doing, you sir? You fantastic. Hello. my new Hi. baby boy. How are you? Your new baby. How yes. are you? Doing great. Kids, how are you? So this is compliments of me, okay? All right. You go have Thank a good you. time. Don't eat too much, right? I won't. You have a great day, <laughs> Thank sir. Thank you, man. You take care. Thank you, honey. Have a good time. Thank you. It's cute. This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. It's Kamala's birthday. She's 60 years old. Yes, I would say happy birthday, Kamala. She's turning 60. Uh, Did you get her some fries? I think I'll get her some flowers. Maybe I'll get her some fries. You're right. That might be. I'll give her, give her some McDonald's. I'll get her a McDonald's hamburger. No, it is her birthday. That is true, right? Happy birthday, Kamala. Happy birthday. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Bang, that's class personified. Even though he control with the best of them, and even though they're in a 
a very, very important race um, to win president of the United States of America. He still wished her a happy birthday when the reporters was trying to get him to say neg something negative about her on her birthday. He said, let's put that aside, even though I'm campaigning, and even though I'm out here in the streets, even though I'm running it up. Uh, and I think that she went to a she went to a big church in Atlanta or something like that. We're going to research that. We're going to find it out and see what's happening. But um, because I don't think that, you know, based on, maybe it was a redemption art. Oh, so she decides to go to the big church in Atlanta because just when she was on the campaign trail and a, and a person said, Jesus is Lord. And she said, oh, no, we don't do that at this rally. Ah, OK. All right. We're going to get there. But he did. He did still wish her happy birthday. And he did say, you know, I'm a, I'll, maybe I'll send her some flowers when they was trying to get him to say ne something negative about her. But he didn't say anything negative about her on her birthday. And I think that that's admirable. I think that that's dope. I think that that's awesome. Um, again, I don't know where people are getting all of this negative stuff um, at about him. I don't know where people are, are seeing this. The entire time that I've ever, ever seen Trump publicly, um, everybody adored him. The black community loved him. Oprah loved him. And that was all prior to him running for president of the United States of America, which he's always said that he would do. And every all of a sudden, all of the marketing turned against them. And then somehow, some way, he's a, you know, against the country. Now, one thing that you can't say about Trump is that he don't absolutely love this country. I mean, the dude bankrolled, who did he bankroll? Uh, was it Jesse Jackson or something like that to run in front for president? I just found out the other day that he actually had chartered a flight in order to get Mandela uh, back here and all of this stuff. Dude absolutely loves this country. He loves what this country represents. Um, and so do I. And I don't know why anybody wants to continue to align with the Democratic Party. Yes, I do. Let me stop. I know why. I know what it is. I know what's happening. I know that it's all based off of marketing. I know that you've been taught that your entire life. Um, there's also a lot of people that's been taught to hate. There's some very negative people um, that show up and they do the wrong thing because they don't see anything great in themselves. And instead of leveraging the opportunities that this this country affords them, they decide that they want to go against it and they they are just literally trying to destroy everything. And so, you know, I've already debunked so many different things that people continue to put out there that's not true, that's that's so off, that's negative and everything like that. But it's just life. That's just the way that people are. Um, but shout out to Trump always and never missing an opportunity to push and, and show people who he is. Um, anybody that's ever kicked it with him, it says, you know, it, it seems like they've always said that he's been a great person. And you already know what we what we push in, in 2024 going into 2025. We looking for Trump to win. We voting for the Republicans. Um, and when that's how we rocking out, I love you. I appreciate you all. Y'all make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description. Also teach Hanley 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. Um, get your tickets to come and kick it with me in person, discount code Anton. And then last but not least, and all of that is in the description, kick it with me on a million or more in the show this morning. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.